everyone! Today we have a very gloomy and rainy weather in Berlin. I have my hot cup of coffee and I decided it's a good moment to share with you why I left software development. I worked for over a decade as a software developer, maybe 13, 15 years, depending on how you count. I actually always liked my job. Honestly, of course, there were some ups and downs. I worked in good teams and bad ones, building something I believed into and sometimes something not really meaningful. We do what we are told to do, right? In addition to my dev role, I often had some interesting side responsibilities like leading a team or being an agile coach or running pilots. That involved a lot of new German curse words. And overall, I had a chance to participate in all stages of product development. So it was not easy, but it's a really good job with a good salary and lots of job opportunities, even when the job market is at its lowest. But after all years of writing, debugging and delivering features, I finally decided it's time to move on. And in this short video, I wanted to share with you my reasonings behind this decision as well as what I do right now. I believe that when it comes to career, we need to think strategically about the future. We can never predict what will happen in a year or in five or ten, but it is important to shape the direction where we want to go. That's why for a long time I was thinking that staying in development for the rest of my productive working years is not the wisest option and eventually I would make a switch. The question was mainly when to move and where to move so that in a new role I can still rely on my existing technical expertise, doing what I enjoy and continue evolving my knowledge. Coding is fun, exploring technologies is interesting, and overall software development is cool. I'm actually really happy that I selected this direction when I was younger. However, it has a set of challenges. As in many roles, most of the time we work under a significant time pressure. We are expected to learn fast, to work on our main project, sometimes alone, sometimes in a team if we are lucky help other projects, as well as to support a variety of other team undertakings and activities like interviewing, knowledge sharing, mentoring, also doing all extra curriculum stuff to get up the ladder. You're probably familiar with the gradation junior, middle, senior, lead, principal or whatever you have in your company. And for me it was important that I'm moving forward in my skills and abilities and at the same time, it is recognized by the place where I work. Developers are also expected to have this all round set of skills to be able to work with the infrastructure, test what we make manually and write all variety of automated tests, collaborate with the design team, give opinion on user research strategy and many, 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 many other things which don't look big on its own, but when combined together, it becomes a lot. And these are amazingly interesting things if you enjoy software development. In fact, I often volunteer to be involved in more activities and get some additional cool responsibilities. But time and energy is the limit. Actually, the time can be stretched if needed when you're young, no other huge responsibilities, you can work an extra hour here and there and still feel good about it. The problem is the energy. When you have all this fusion of things to do, it tends to exhaust you mentally and all extra stuff which would be helpful to do after work, like learning a language or doing sport or meeting with friends and spending some family quality time, is transformed into passive doing nothing and in the long run this slowly brings you to a burnout. My last developer role was actually at AWS and maybe because it was somehow tough on me, this thought of changing the role was coming back with more motivation and more power. So I realized I was ready to make a move and try something new. 
But at the same time, it was important for me to find a place where I could do the stuff I already know that I enjoy doing and where the skills that I have will be valuable and recognizable. And of course, where I can lessen the effort on the other activities which are bring me less joy. So I was looking for a role where my focus will be on diving into new technologies and building content to help others, where I can become a bridge between an internal development team and external users who are possibly also developers, a role where I can exercise my writing skills, public speaking skills, and hopefully travel a lot, where I can still code, learn new technologies, build prototypes and experiments, and have more focus on all of this comparing to the times when my main responsibility was the development itself. And I did it. After interviews with a bunch of companies and teams, I moved to a role of a developer advocate. It has been a tricky transition, which didn't happen overnight and I had to change companies. But now, after a month on the new job, I must say I'm so super happy. It is better than I could have expected. I finally have time which is dedicated to learning and experimenting. I don't have to squeeze it between deadlines to deliver features. I don't have to keep my phone next to me all night when I'm on call duty. And I feel I do help other devs. It's very satisfying feeling which gives me an extra boost of energy. I also got invited to a couple of cool conferences to talk about usage of open source technologies and it makes me so, so excited. I can't wait to see what else this year will bring. So this was the short story of my transition. I hope it will help someone else. Let me know if you have any questions or if you want to share your experience when moving away from software development. And with this, thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you next time.